Hope everybody's had a good day today. Um, why did I say um after every sentence? That's what I've noticed uh, with the editing. Did I say that a lot? I just don't know why I do it. It's just like a nervous tick or something. But today, I worked all day. I didn't get a chance to video with my big camera, the DSLR like I've been doing for probably the past five days or something. I don't know. Uh, just work so much. I got up at like 11, or I started working at 11, and I really hadn't stopped since. It's dark now. It's like 8.30. So uh, I just wanted to make a quick iPhone vlog because it's just easier. Don't have to edit it because I'd have to put all the files on my computer and edit, export, then upload. And on this, I can just take it, upload straight to the, uh, fr straight from the phone. So anyway, there's that. If you didn't, like, that's the bike I used yesterday when I was riding. It's a Bianchi. Where's it at? Right there. Um, that's an Italian bike. You see these in the back. That's a Trek Touring bike. And that one is a Trek 2300. Um, they don't make, like, it used to be a 1,000. Or maybe it may start at 1,200. I don't know. But I know they had a 2,000, a uh, uh 21, 22, 23, I think it went up all the way to like 5,600 or something, maybe. But that's been years ago, but uh, this was like the, one of the last years they made that particular one. I really like, that's a really nice bike. It's my dad's, it's aluminum frame, and then it's got carbon seat stays, carbon seat post up here, and then a carbon fork. This one's all steel. Uh, just because it's a touring bike. And that one's got a uh, compact um, double. And uh, then it's got a smaller uh, cassette in the back just for making it easier to climb because it's compact plus it has a climbing gear. Or better, we've had which switched it out. So that's a pretty good climber. And then mine's a compact uh, double too. And then it's got the basically. It's the same gear ratio on that one down here as it is on that one over there. We've uh, that was a whole deal. He had the gears on that one. Then I, when I bought this one, we geared it to match, so I can get on either one and ride just fine. But the only thing with mine, mine's not all Ultegra. The crankshaft or the the front crank is not. Um, uh, was it Ultegra? It's like Relure or something. But everything else, the brakes and everything, the well, the rear cassette is 105 too, because we had to we switched it out, so it's a step below. But the the front derailers, the back derailers, the brakes are all Ultegra. And on that one, everything's Ultegra. I don't know why I'm saying that. I just saw them here. Just needed something to talk about. I guess we've really not rode a lot lately. Like I said. Yesterday it's been a couple of years, but we've rode since like 2000, so we've done plenty. Uh, but this one, I think, I don't know, I'm going to look. Yeah, it's 105 too, so this is exactly the same. It's 105 like mine, and all this is Ultegra. You've got the Shimano Ultegra um, crank, front crank, and then uh, the derailers are both Ultegra and the brakes. So anyway, in my bike, I, did, I was telling about the frames. My frame steel, that's what I wanted in particular and then it come with the uh, carbon fork um, regular seat post but anyway uh, but that's the bike I picked out I went on the, online in 2007 my very first bike was a steel Bianchi and then uh, I wanted to I got my dad's 2000 it was like Trek 2000 uh, road bike like that was a 2300 his was just a 2000 um, because that's when he bought this one, I think, or something. And then I took his old one. Then I sold it and bought this other one down here. And what, what was it? Oh, when I looked online, I picked out exactly what I wanted and then uh, went to Nashville and got it. So I got the printout. I actually, it may be up in a box, like right up there. I don't know for sure. I need to find it and file it away. Or actually, I think it is in this file right here. It'd be funny if it actually was uh, right here. Let me just see, just for kicks and giggles, if I find it quick enough. 
I may not. Because I don't like to have it just ticking away in time. I don't know. I'll find it one day, show you. But I, like I said, it's been 2007, so it's a pretty old bike. But it's only got like a thousand miles on it. But anyway, I've rambled too long about bicycles. So I'll let you go. Um, I'll make a video tomorrow with my big camera throughout the day. So that way it'll be in, uh, better than just a one-taker. So anyway, hope you had a good day. I'll see you tomorrow.